Aloha, I'm Chef Michi and welcome to KTA Kitchens. Today I'm going to show you how to make a summery kale salad. Okay, to start off with we're going to make our croutons. Do not be afraid to do this. It's so easy and the results from just fresh homemade is so much better than anything you could get out of a bag. Just spread your bread into a pan. Drizzle a little bit of olive oil in there. You want to season with the Italian herbs. And we're going to put some garlic salt and black pepper. Super easy, just get your hands in there. You're just going to toss it around a little bit just to distribute the olive oil and seasonings. You just pop it in the oven for about eight minutes or until you've got a little golden brown crunch on the outside. It's as easy as that, just pop it in the oven. You're going to start off with some anchovies. You do want that olive oil that it comes in. Put that into a bowl. You've got to really get the anchovies into small pieces, so instead of trying to mash it with a fork, you can actually just help yourself out a little bit, get a knife, and kind of slice them up a little bit. And then we're going to continue to mash them once you put it into the bowl. This is a really tasty dressing. You've got so many flavors going on there. You've got the saltiness of those anchovies, the tartness of the Dijon mustard, and also the lemon juice. Now we're going to get our kale ready to cook. Now preferably you can use a grill uh, if you have a barbecue available, but today I'm in a kitchen, so we're gonna do this in the oven, which is perfectly fine. I just wanted to show you real quick, what you wanna do is get rid of this heavy spine on the kale. You don't have to get the whole thing off because when it's cooking, this is actually going to get softer, but it is very, very tough to eat. But when you cook kale, it'll get soft. So we're just going to do a couple of these real quick. And this is an easy preparation of kale. It's so healthy. And like I was saying earlier, how it seems like a lot of kale, but this big half bunch will actually come down to about a fourth of its original size once it's cooked. And we're going to put this in the oven and we want to get it a little bit crispy on the edges. If you've ever had kale chips, this salad is kind of a combination of kale chips with some fresh kale. It's a really nice combination. So we're just going to pop this onto a cookie sheet or you can use any kind of baking dish. So I finished preparing this kale for the oven. I'm just going to drizzle it with a little bit of olive oil and we're going to season it with the garlic, salt, and pepper so it has some flavor to it. Not a whole lot because your dressing does have a lot of flavor to it. Just pop this into the oven and again we're looking for that nice crispy edge. The spines are going to cook. So for your fresh kale, this portion of the salad, you really want to take care of that spine. It is pretty fibrous. So there's two ways you can do it. You can use your knife and cut. What I like to do, it's actually faster, it's a little bit of a cheat method, but just pull it off of the spine like that and it comes right off. This is the part that you don't want to eat. Your kale leaves, all you have to do for the fresh portion, you want to slice it a little thin because the the fresh kale is definitely a harder leaf. It's not soft like regular iceberg or romaine lettuce. Little slices like that will be perfect. Just put that into your bowl and then we're going to get the cooked kale and add them together and finish it with our dressing. Okay, so I've taken my kale out of the oven. We've let it cool for a little bit and now we're just going to chop them up and add them to our raw kale. But as you can hear, you hear that little crispiness. That's what you're looking for. Add this right in. So I'm just going to finish off the dressing. I'm going to add that olive oil to it. And we're going to season with, again, a little bit of garlic, salt, and pepper. I like to use garlic salt just because it has a little more flavor. If you don't have it, don't worry. Just use regular salt. That's fine. Give the dressing a quick stir. Just drizzle that over all those beautiful kale leaves. 
going to give it a quick toss. These are yummy croutons that we made earlier. Nice and crunchy. Put that at the top as well. Okay, and there you have it. This is our summer grilled kale salad. Wonderful to enjoy with a little glass of Chardonnay. Refreshing, it's gonna complement the flavors of that salad. Well, thank you for joining me, I'm Chef Michi, coming to you from KTA Kitchens. You can also find my recipes at ktasuperstores.com slash recipes. Aloha.